What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you're here today. If you're new, my name is Anna Willemstein and I have a Psalms devotional video for you today. We're on Psalm 135. Who can believe it? That means there's only 15 Psalms left after we finish this one, which is so crazy, but also awesome because it's Honestly, it makes me feel accomplished that I'm going to complete an entire book of the Bible. It's taken two years, but I'm really glad we've been able to do this together. And anyway, I guess let's go ahead and get into this devotional. Grab your Bible. You can use your hard copy Bible. This is mine. And P.S. By the way, Derek, I know that's a lady who watches my videos. You have been requesting a Bible cover tour, and I am planning on doing that. Because I'm pregnant, I've been experiencing a little bit of like energy deficit, but I'm really, really, it is in my mind. I think about it like every other day or so, honestly. And so that is in the plans and I hope the rest of you will be interested in that as well. So Bible cover tour coming up, but go ahead, like I said, and grab your Bible. You can use the YouVersion Bible app on your phone. It's a free download if you want. Turn to Psalm 135 and pause the video so you can take the time to read that Psalm for yourself. And then when you finish reading, come back and I'll share what I have for today's devotional. I wanna to talk to you today about boldness. This Psalm is a bold Psalm. Verse, let's see, where is it? Verse five, I know the greatness of the Lord, that our Lord is greater than any other God. The Lord does whatever pleases him throughout all heaven and earth and on the seas and in their depths. And then it goes on and then it goes down to verse, let's see, sorry, <laughs> verse 15. The idols of the nations are merely things of silver and gold shaped by human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak and they have ears, but cannot hear and mouths, but cannot breathe. And those who make idols are just like them as are all who trust in them. You as a Christian, and I hope that you have given your life to Jesus, made him your Lord and accepted him as your savior. And if you haven't done yet, that yet, I have made a video all about how to do that, why you would wanna do that. And I'm gonna put it on the screen here, link it in the description box below and in a card above so that you can do that if you're interested in that. That's something that's the most important decision you can make with your life. But if you are a Christian, you need to be bold. God is not afraid to say the truth. And he says it with love, but he says it how it is. And that is something as Christians, especially I feel like in this day and age, especially in Western culture, and by Western culture, um, I mean like American culture, like the UK, Canada, you know, people in Western civilization today, we need to be bold. We don't need to be ashamed or afraid or embarrassed or, oh no, I might, you know, not everyone thinks the same way I think. I'm not saying you have to be a jerk and like stuff stuff in people's face, but you also don't need to be timid in the corner like, oh yeah, you can talk about how you are boldly transgender or boldly, you know, a Muslim or boldly and those things, you know what? I, I honestly feel nervous saying those words out of my mouth on my channel because people don't like it when you address sin. But you know what? There is one true living God Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. That's a bold statement. That Psalm was bold. It talks about how those idols, they're not for real. They have eyes, but they can't see. Who wants to serve a God who can't see them, who can't see exactly what they're going through, who doesn't have the ability to see and then care and move on your behalf? I wanna serve a living God. I wanna serve the one true living God. And this is a phrase that goes through like my heart and my mouth on a regular basis. I wanna live my whole life with my entire heart for Jesus Christ. That is something I've been saying for a couple of years now. It's a phrase that I feel like God's put in my heart for my channel, for you girls, for my middle school girls and my high school girls. And you know, Molly, you're even younger than middle school, I think, or you were last year, you were in fifth grade, I think. You know, for my college age women and my young adult women and my moms and my middle aged women and my older women, all of us, I want us to live our entire lives with our whole hearts boldly for Jesus Christ. And I don't want us to be afraid to identify as Christians in the public eye. So I'm just reminding you today, be bold. Don't be a jerk. <laughs> don't go out there and just, you know, oh, well, you're crazy and you're bad, but you know what? You can speak the truth in love. I had an incident the other day with an acquaintance of mine who was going on and on and on, and he was just saying stuff that was pretty much untrue. And it was a little bit political in nature, which I don't like to talk about politics with people, but he was going on and on and on. And it was 
you know what, if I had just sat there and listened any longer, I was concerned that he might take that as me affirming it. Like, yeah, okay, I'll listen to you for 20 minutes and not say anything. And then he'd be like, well, Anna didn't say anything. I gave her a chance. I talked to her for like 15 or 20 minutes. Well, I had to finally say something and be like, you know what, I disagree with you and here's why. And I said it and I was pretty blunt. I was like, doesn't mean I don't like you. Doesn't mean I don't love you. But I'm just letting you know that I think you're wrong. And this is why I think you're wrong. And we were able to have a dialogue. So hopefully dialogue is like fancy speak for like, he didn't hate me afterwards. Like it's been several weeks since that took place. He didn't hate me afterwards because I told him I disagreed with him. So be bold and don't be hiding who you are as a Christian, as a follower and a believer in Jesus Christ. And yeah, that's what I have for the devotional today. So I hope it inspired you or motivated you or made something more clear for you. And it stirred up a desire inside you to read your Bible. It's one of the main goals for my channel. And anyway, I will see you soon with another video. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will, like I said, see you soon. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.